Ja. Haben wir jetzt ein Selfie gemacht ja, schon? Das Ach so, okay. Hi guys, Samuel here. Welcome back to another video. So the king of snapshot style photography is back. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the new Ricoh GR version 3. And I already got the chance to test this in the real world and use it as my main street photography camera. And I'm also working on a full long-term review. Uh, but today I'm just going to talk about my initial impression, what I liked and what I don't liked. And I have to say I am a little biased because uh, I am a Ricoh GR ambassador and I know based on my previous YouTube content that might be kind of a surprise to you. Um, but I already was an ambassador for the first APS-C GR and I love that camera so much. I basically used it till it stopped working. Um, so I'm really happy that they came out uh, with the GR3. I will still be honest with you because there are some things about the camera that I don't like and it could be a deal breaker for some of you. So I'm going to talk about that later too. And this video will also be kind of a vlog slash POV video because Rico Germany and German street photography magazine Soul of Street, these guys here, <laughs> um, they organized a GR3 meetup and photo walk and a few street photographers from Germany came to Cologne uh, to test the new GR. So I'm going to share with you a behind the scenes of that day and also share my thoughts on the new GR along the way. So let's start. Okay, let's talk about the design changes of the GR3. Um, first, you will notice that it is a bit smaller now compared to the old GR. I also like how they darkened the GR logo. It is not um, white anymore. And also the top dial is now uh, really minimal. It has no auto mode, there's no green mode, but instead we have this really simple and minimal design. And this is a little detail, but I really like that they put the logo on the top left corner. Maybe it's just me, but I think this looks way better than having it here, you know. On the back, we have probably the biggest changes. Um, we have a huge uh, new screen. Uh, it is also a touch screen. Uh, we have this new wheel here, which you can use to uh, go through your images and also change some uh, settings. This can still be used as a D-pad. We still have the macro button here at the top. Another big change is um, the exposure compensation toggle here is gone. Uh, you now do that by using the adjustment button here and the no AF uh, lock, but you can set this to be an AF lock button. So and on the side we have um, the movie record button and also the Wi-Fi button. Yeah, of course, uh, you probably know that already, but uh, no pop-up flash. Hold that thought. Let's start up the camera. So that is a lot faster than before. Although the lens looks similar to the older models, uh, it is a complete new redesign. Uh, we now have a 24 megapixel sensor inside. Oh yeah, also important, um, here on the side we have a USB-C port for charging. And it also has new batteries. Uh, yeah, they last around 200 shots. Um, I'm going to talk about that later. Um, so that's new. And like the previous GR, almost all buttons are customizable and you can even turn off the light on the on and off button. Um, unfortunately, this camera has no weather sealing. It was highly requested, but uh, Rico said it wasn't possible to keep the camera this compact uh, and still seal it. And they also put in a new image stabilizer. So we have a whole unit that stabilizes the sensor. So that took up some space. 
um, but they use that to include a dust removal function and it works by the sensor shaking off the dust. We will see how it works in the long run. Let's talk about the no pop-up flash issue. Uh, for me it's not really an issue because I don't shoot flash that much but I know that a lot of you guys won't upgrade your GR because of the flash and I think I found the solution uh, at least for me um, and that is this little flash here. It's called the Flash uh, Q20 Mark II uh, and they don't pay me to say this by the way. Uh, I just love the concept of this flash and I saw it I think on Eduardo's channel and uh, I thought this could be a really good flash for the GR. So this is how it looks on the Ricoh GR and of course it's a lot bigger than the pop-up flash but I think it's a nice compromise. It's a lot smaller than my Canon flash that I have. But the main reason why I wanted this flash was because you can also use it as an off-camera flash. And I think that's really unique, you know. I have, I've never seen this kind of flash before. I think this is probably the best solution for me right now. Um, I can see this working well in a street photography scenario. <laughs> and if you want to check out the flash for yourself, uh, I have put a link in the description. Alright, so another reason why the pop-up flash is gone is because it now has a 3-axis in-camera stabilization and in my experience it does work really well. Um, the lowest I could go down on shutter speed without any motion blur was 1 4th of a second, which is really really slow. I still need to test how it will perform um, during panning shots, um, so I will do that in my full review. Okay, let's talk about the touch screen. You can now use the touch screen to swipe through your images, a double tap to get a 100% view or pinch to zoom or you can use the touch screen to focus and even take photos by just touching the screen. But sadly there's no option to just touch the screen and release the shutter that way. Uh, it will always focus and then release the shutter. It would be really nice to just tap the screen to take photos, especially on the street, uh, if you are already pre-focused uh, by just tapping the screen. Uh, that would be a really cool way to take photos. Um, hopefully they can implement that uh, in a new firmware update. We will see. The autofocus is also improved over the GR version 2. Uh, in good lighting condition it catches focus really quickly. So here we have my first test shot with the GR3. I'm really pleased with the autofocus background. I think the bokeh looks really nice and creamy. Now compared to the RAW file, of course the RAW file has a slight edge over detail and sharpness, but I think the JPEG still looks really nice. So this is just the first quick look in terms of image quality. Um, we will definitely go over more sample images uh, later in this video. Okay, we are now in Cologne and everyone is setting up their GR3s and here I am testing the AF system. So the GR3 has a hybrid AF system. It's a combination between a contrast AF and face detection AF. That's not so important because the main killer function of the GR is of course 
the snap focus or the snap mode. If you are not familiar with the GR system, you basically set the focus to let's say one meter, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, five or infinity. For example, let's say you are out on the street and your preferred focus distance is a one and a half meter. So everything in that range of one and a half meter will be sharp, right? Um, but let's say you want to focus on something in the distance. Then you can just half press the shutter button and use the autofocus just like you would normally do. But then if you want to quickly take a shot uh, at one and a half meter distance, all you do is just fully press in the shutter button and that way the camera will jump back to the preferred focus distance, which is one and a half meter, and that shot will be sharp every time. Uh, yeah, so this is really how you should uh, use the GR. Okay, so here I took a quick snapshot of Chris and this was shot with the positive film, film simulation. This was always my favorite film simulation uh, on the previous GR. And the GR3 now has a lot more uh, customization options uh, for the film simulations. two custom slots so you can uh, set up your own filter effects. So there's one thing I want to mention about the snap focus. Uh, I was using it the whole time and I really had fun like snapping photos in front of people, uh, setting my focus to one meter. Um, but I noticed that in some occasions it wouldn't release the shutter. And uh, I missed some really good moments because of that. Some of the other photographers had the same issue and we didn't know why. But later I found out that it has to do with the auto exposure uh, because I was shooting uh, auto ISO, the camera always needed to expose first for the shutter to be released. And I was holding my camera like this, you know, pointing down and then quickly bring it up to take the shot. Uh, but of course the exposure would be different from the ground. Uh, so you have two options. Uh, either you shoot manually and just set the exposure yourself and then there's absolutely no lag. Or uh, if you shoot auto ISO, for example, 
um, have your camera already uh, pointing to the direction you're shooting. So if you walk around like this, then there should be no problem. Um, yeah, so this is just one thing that I noticed. Okay, so at that time we were already shooting for like an hour or maybe an hour and a half and the battery of my camera died. It died completely. I think I was the first one to have an empty battery uh, but the rest also said that they, they were running low on uh, battery life. Uh, my previous GR was also not that great but it, it, I know it could last at least 300 shots or maybe more. Uh, but on the GR3 I got around 200 shots and we didn't have any extra batteries with us so I had to take a break and use a power bank to charge my camera. Of course we should also consider that we took some time setting up the camera and I played a bit with the camera in the train. Um, so yeah I don't know exactly how long it will last in one full load. I still need to check that. So battery life I'm not so happy with it. I would definitely get some extra batteries maybe get at least three batteries would be my recommendation uh, or have a power bank with you. Okay, let's look at some more sample shots before I give you my final conclusion. So that was our GR3 meetup and photo walk. A big thank you to Rico Germany and Soul of Street for organizing this. It was really nice uh, meeting the other photographers and sharing this crazy experience in Cologne. Definitely check out the other photographers. I will link their profiles or Instagrams uh, in the description. Okay guys, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This was my first impression of the new Rico GR3, although it felt a bit more like a review. Uh, please comment below uh, your thoughts about the GR3 and also if you have any questions and things you want me to cover. And like I said in the beginning, I am a bit biased and I really love the GR system and the GR3 is no exception except the battery life. Uh, it, it, it is the biggest downside of this camera. Uh, other than that, I'm impressed with the image quality and I'm finally happy with the colors of the GR. So for me, it closes all the gaps that I had before. Uh, I haven't mentioned the price yet. It will be around uh, 800 or 900 dollars in the US, I think. And here in Germany, it will be uh, around 800 euro, maybe. So it is a big price tag. And for me, it is worth it because of the quality. But if you never owned a GR before, I would say honestly, just buy the uh, GR version 2 because it's a lot cheaper. And overall, I think it is the better value option. Yeah, and if you're not sure if you can get used to just shooting with an LCD, 
There are options for optical viewfinders like this one. I don't know, I don't use it that much, but um, it's kind of cool. It looks stylish, I think. Yeah, and of course I'm going to uh, compare the GS3 against the X100F, although there are two different types of cameras. Maybe even the Leica Q, if I can get my hands on one. So if you know someone who has a Leica Q and can send it over to me, I would definitely uh, make a comparison. So if you're interested in getting the GR3, uh, I, I will put links in the description where you can order one. And these are of course affiliate links. So if you want to support my channel, you can do so by using that link. Okay, so that's it for today. If you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos are up. See you next time. Grab your GR and go on a journey. Thank you.